Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today we'll talk about biomarkers in clinical trials. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. You might have come across the term biomarkers and wondered what it means. This video aims to demystify the concept of biomarkers and their role in clinical trials, which are integral aspects of medical research. Before delving into biomarkers, let's start with understanding clinical trials. Clinical trials refer to research studies involving human volunteers intended to answer specific health questions. These trials play a crucial role in medicine by helping researchers discover new and effective strategies for diagnosing, preventing, treating, or managing diseases. But what is the role of biomarkers in clinical trials? Biomarkers have an increasingly vital role in clinical trials. They help researchers monitor and predict disease progression. For instance, the level of a particular biomarker may increase as a disease advances helping doctors track the disease's course. Moreover, biomarkers also help understand the efficacy of a treatment, depending on whether the level of a biomarker goes up or down. Researchers can infer whether the treatment is working or not. Let us have a look at different types of biomarkers used in clinical trials. There are several types of biomarkers used in clinical trials, each serving a specific role. Diagnostic biomarkers help in detecting if a patient has a particular disease. For example, high glucose levels in the blood can diagnose diabetes. Prognostic biomarkers give information about the likely disease course irrespective of the treatment. For instance, certain biomarkers can indicate whether cancer is likely to recur. Predictive biomarkers help understand how a patient is likely to respond to a particular treatment. For example, the presence of certain biomarkers can predict whether a cancer patient will respond to chemotherapy. Pharmacodynamic slash response biomarkers show that a biological response has occurred in a patient who has received a therapeutic intervention. How does the process of identifying and validating biomarkers look like? Identifying and validating biomarkers is a complex but crucial process. Researchers first identify potential biomarkers by observing their association with specific health outcomes in observational studies. Following this, they validate these potential biomarkers through rigorous testing to ensure they reliably and accurately measure the biological condition or disease. And what are the advantages of using biomarkers in clinical trials? The use of biomarkers in clinical trials comes with several advantages. It can lead to faster results as researchers can measure the effect of a treatment on a biomarker much quicker than waiting for clinical endpoints like disease recurrence. Biomarkers also allow for more accurate predictions. By providing a clearer picture of disease progression or treatment response, they can improve the precision of research findings. Moreover, they hold the potential for personalized medicine. Treatments tailored to individual patients based on their unique biomarker profiles. And what are the challenges and limitations of using biomarkers in clinical trials? Despite these advantages, there are hurdles and limitations in using biomarkers. Identifying valid biomarkers is complex, requiring sophisticated technologies and vast amounts of data. Moreover, the process of validating these biomarkers can be costly and time-consuming. The future of clinical trials will continue to be shaped by advances in our understanding and use of biomarkers. As we continue to unlock more about the human body's complexities, biomarkers will likely provide us with even more tools to diagnose, treat, and prevent diseases. Understanding biomarkers and their role in clinical trials is undoubtedly essential. Not only do they provide a glimpse into the future of medicine, but they also offer a fascinating insight into how we can harness our body's signposts to improve health outcomes. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.